Oh, Captain Justice is coming. Yes. Talk to Mama. <laughs> Speaking, of, I, morning, I, un Jeff, I understand. Good morning. Good morning. I understand you were lava level mad, as anyone who believes in the justice system in the United States of America was yesterday, right? If I had hair, it would be on fire. Trust me. <laughs> 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 then you would be too hot. You're already in, oh. fu in fuego. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Glenn, I I don't know where to start with this. Um, <clears throat> so thank God these guys in Georgia were finally arrested, but it just. <laughs> For a moment, there we're in a day where uh, two white guys that obviously hunted someone down and shot them to death on video have remained free. Barr had to have known about that, right? And on the day that they're just going to drop charges against Michael Flynn, which but doesn't it basically say treason's okay now? Lying to the FBI is okay? Yeah, it's like an injustice jamboree. I mean, you know, I, th I think yesterday really did signal the death of the legitimacy of the Department of Justice, at least the, the, the leadership. I need both hands for my air quotes, Steph. At least the leadership of the Department of Justice, because, you know, Mike Flynn, as we all know, got caught talking dirty on the phone to the Russians, right? Talking about sanctions, had no right talking about that, lied to the vice president, lied to the FBI, walked into court, raised his right hand, took an oath to tell the truth and, and told Judge Emmett Sullivan I lied to the FBI. I knew it was a crime. I had no defense. I did it knowingly, intelligently, and voluntarily. I knew lying to the FBI was a crime. And judge, I am guilty and I hereby plead guilty. And now Bill Barr and his acolyte, the lackey he installed as the acting U.S. attorney in D.C., Tim Shea, walk in and say, Judge Sullivan, disregard all that. We don't really think he was guilty, so we want you to give the president's man a pass. That, Steph, is insanity. Yeah. Well, and you, speaking of Judge Sullivan, I know a lot of people look to you immediately on uh, on Twitter. Um, you were talking about, uh, people have asked if Judge Sullivan has any discretion regarding DOJ's attempt to kill the Flynn case. Here's the breakdown. DOJ can file a motion to dismiss the case, but Judge Sullivan can deny that motion, though that would be extremely unusual. Stay tuned. Um, so, so talk to us about that. What do you think sure. is going to happen? So here's the silver lining. You know, we so far is this enormous pitch black cloud hanging over the Department of Justice. But when you file a motion to dismiss a case, particularly a case where the defendant has already pled guilty, that is the court's case. It's not the prosecutor's case. It doesn't belong to Bill Barr. He has to request that Emmett Sullivan grant the motion to dismiss under Rule 48A. So here's the thing. Judge Emmett Sullivan has a couple of decisions to make. He can, one, order a hearing. And at that hearing, he can demand answers like, OK, Bill Barr or whatever representative you you bring before me, why is it that at the time of Flynn's guilty plea, Flynn swore under oath and the prosecutors told me that Flynn was guilty, that he knew he lied, that it was during an ongoing investigation and that it was a material matter to that investigation. It was relevant. It really impeded the investigation. All of that stuff was put in writing before Judge Sullivan and was signed by the prosecutors and by Mike Flynn and his attorneys. Why, Bill Barr, are you now filing this 20-page long motion full of garbage that says none of that stuff was accurate or true? I mean, that's the government talking out of both sides of their mouth. And Steph, Judge Sullivan is a lion, and he is a legend in DC criminal justice circles. And the man is aggressively intolerant of government misconduct. I've had cases in front of him. My office has had cases in front of him. And he was a taskmaster in all the right ways. He can smell BS a mile away. And I predict he is not going to shrink from this challenge. He's not going to go along and let the Department of Justice and Bill Barr pull this garbage. He's going to call them to the carpet. He's going to demand answers. And Steph, he might say, I deny your motion to, to, to tank this case. We're going to sentencing. And Mike Flynn, you are hereby sentenced to X numbers, number of months in prison. 
Judge Sullivan could do that. The other thing he could do is he could have this long hearing. He could rip everybody a new one. He could grant the motion to dismiss the case, but a little bit more silver lining stuff. When he, if he grants the motion to dismiss, it will be what's called without prejudice. What that means is in January, this dang case can be rebrought and Flynn can be prosecuted anew in the interest of justice. Attorney General Gunn Kirshner says what now? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah, you said that today is pitch dark, but hashtag justice is coming. Um, I, I hate to subject you to this, but I just break this down for the layperson. Here is Bill Barr yesterday. A crime cannot be established here. They did not have a basis for a counterintelligence investigation against Flynn at that stage. Does the fact remain that he lied? Well, you know, people sometimes plead to things uh, that turn out not to be crimes. What should Americans take away from your actions in the Flynn case today? I want to make sure uh, that we restore confidence in the system. There's only one standard of justice. Wow. Oh. Wow, that was like getting hit in the stomach with a, <laughs> with a shot put. Yeah. And if you read the court documents, Steph, in the Flynn case, it said at the time Mike Flynn lied to the FBI, the FBI did have an investigation open into Russian efforts to undermine our 2016 yeah. election. So yes. Bill Barton, he can say anything he wants None of it detracts from the truth and from the facts. Right. Flynn's lies were irrelevant. They write to the FBI's counterintelligence probe into his communications with Russia. What? They're exactly relevant. <laughs> I mean, how? They're not only relevant, Steph. They form the basis of compromise. Yeah. Mike Flynn was blackmailable by the Russians. Why? Because he talked dirty with them on the phone about sanctions. Then he lied to it to the vice, lied about it to the vice president. You know what that means? Russia's got him by the short hairs. Yep. Russia can expose Mike Flynn, the national security advisor, for lying to the vice president about national security matters. They had Mike Flynn in their pocket to the detriment of the national security of our country. Bill Barr is full of nonsense. Not just talking dirty with Russia, Glenn, talking dirty with, about, with Turkey. I, I, I mean, he got let, let off for a bunch of other crimes because he pled to all this, right? I mean, all those, all those crimes can be rebrought come January when we have a law-abiding president and a law-enforcing attorney general. Uh, yes, I hate to subject you to this, but uh, as someone who has fought for American justice all his life, here is the president of the United States here. He was targeted by the Obama administration, and he was targeted in order to try and take down a president. And what they've done is a disgrace, and I hope a big price is gonna be paid. A big price should be paid. There's never been anything like this in the history of our country. What they did, what the Obama administration did, is uh, unprecedented. It's never happened. Never happened. A thing like this has never happened before in the history of our country. And I hope a lot of people are going to pay a big price because they're dishonest, crooked people. They're scum. And oh. I say it a lot. God. They're scum. They're human scum. This should never have happened in this country. A duly elected president. And they went after him by going after fine people. Okay. So, so once again, the men and women of the FBI had to hear that yesterday. Right. Right. And so, and let me, can I read Donald Trump's tweet about this very sure. incident? So he said, and I think a rare moment for Trump of credibility and candor. Yeah. He said, quote, I had to fire General Flynn because he lied to the vice president and the FBI he has pled guilty to those lies, close quote. Ten days later, Pence went on Face the Nation and told Margaret Brennan, quote, what I know is General Flynn lied to me, close quote. That's all she wrote. Yeah, boy. I have like a whole law library in front of me, Glenn. Um, I was talking about the reason, because he didn't give up Trump, basically, right? That was the other tweet I was asking you about, is because Mueller said he couldn't get to the bottom of this because he wouldn't give up the piece did Trump know about or order or the Kislyak call, right? right? This this was, you know, Flynn, we call it playing the fifties where you kind of half pretend to cooperate, but you're still half in bed with the bad guy that you're protecting. Manafort did it. I think Flynn did it. But you know, remember that Flynn got to plead guilty to one count of lying to the FBI, one count of false statements, but he had criminal exposure, as you mentioned before the break, Steph, 
for a whole bunch of other stuff like, you know, illegal lobbying for Turkey and all. Plus, we learned his son probably has criminal exposure. So guess what the new attorney general and the new administration gets to do in January? They get to bring all of those charges in the name of justice, not for revenge, but because these criminal charges have gone unaddressed for three, four years under Trump. Mm -hmm. They need to be addressed in January. Yeah, thank you. Um, you also tweeted, you said it's being reported at least one of the Flynn prosecutors, perhaps more, withdrew from the Flynn case before today's DOJ decision to dismiss the case. Only D.C. U.S. attorneys signed the dismissal paperwork. This stinks of cronyism. Same thing. I mean, that's when you know as a prosecutor a heads up, like in the Stone case, mm -hmm. when the yeah, actual prosecutors resign. Yeah. This is now like the, uh, the hat trick of injustice. It happened in the census case. This was a while back when all the prosecutors yeah. said, listen, we are out because the Department of Justice and Bill Barr is playing games with this. It happened in the Stone case when all three prosecutors on the case said, we are out because Bill Barr has directed us to file a, a request for a more lenient sentence to cut Roger Stone a break. We're out. Now it's happened a third time where not a single prosecutor would sign yesterday's dismissal motion, only the Bill Barr acolyte, Tim Shea. He's the only name on that motion. That's not the way the Department of Justice is supposed to work. Yeah, this was the tweet I, I, I had it, it, the point for why Flynn's being rewarded. He never gave up the missing piece of the puzzle, which is whether Trump knew about or directed the call to Kislyak. Mueller said he couldn't get to the bottom of it because Flynn and McFarland claim not to remember. Um, you know, this whole thing. I mean, it just it so stinks to high heaven. And I, I'm. I, did you see that Trump also said yesterday he didn't expect the decision? It's like yeah. he just can't, it's like he needs to lie to breathe, right? That he had no idea this was going to happen yesterday. Yeah, if he tells the truth, it's only, uh, you know, accidentally or by coincidence. Yeah. Um, so let's, we, so many other things. Speaking of the Mueller report, tell us what's happening with that. So we're getting a ruling. I mean, they are obviously frantic to mm -hmm. keep us from seeing what is in the unredacted Mueller report before the election, right? So we're going to yeah. get a decision Monday by this from the Supreme uh, Court or... I, I think we're going to get a decision about whether the Supreme Court is going to stay, is going to stop the release of the unredacted Mueller materials, or at least some of them, um, while they decide whether they're going to take the case or not. So, look, Trump's game is to run out the clock. In court, he loses and loses and loses. And by losing, he wins because he completely runs out the clock on the American people getting their hands on the unredacted Mueller report, his tax returns, his financial documents. So that's why we need to reform the way we do business in the courts. We need to have an accelerated court that handles inter-branch disputes between the executive branch and the Congress. We have accelerated court staff for all kinds of things, domestic violence cases. We have mental health court. We have drug court. We need to have an accelerated court where Oh, the president wants to contest a subpoena that was issued so some administration official can come in and tell everybody about the lies and corruption of Donald Trump. Fine. You got 72 hours to file your brief, argue the case. We'll decide the case. Done. That's what we need to start doing. Did you real quick, Glenn? Uh, so the House Intelligence Committee released dozens of transcripts on the Russia probe. Obviously, the, the Trump Jr. Hope Hicks, uh, Steve Bannon, Jared Kushner interviews. Um, so, of course, once again, shift blame, you know, the White House for the delay. Again, as you keep saying, trying to run out the clock. Um, but was there anything? Did you see that, the, the release? I haven't gone through it. But here, here's my suspicion. If there was some really important, consequential, juicy stuff in there, I do think it already would have been fronted. So I think we probably got the most important stuff um, uh, related to us by reporters and members of Congress previously. So we will pour through that all. I'm not sure you're going to get anything blockbuster out of it. I sure hope, uh, I don't know if D.C. sexy liberal is going to happen in July, but I sure want to hug the next attorney general before he <laughs> takes office because then you'll have security and it'll be awkward and stuff, you know. Well, you can hug the next attorney general. I also hope you will hug me. Aww. <laughs> Love you, Glenn Kirshner. Thanks, honey. Thanks, Glenn. Thanks,